Good morning, students. I'm going to give you a quick review on how to log into iReady on your iPads. Um, so let's go. The first thing you need to make sure is that the app is installed on your iPad. For most of you guys, it's already there. Any new students, it may not be there. So that's why I want to kind of go through that really quick. So anytime you need to install an app, like a teacher says, uh, make sure Google Slides is on there or make sure whatever your Google stuff is on there or we need to install a new app. Your app store is called self-service. So it looks like this icon down here. Um, if you can't find that icon, you can kind of go to the middle and swipe down just a little bit. You can type in self-service and it'll come up here. You can on it and then you have your self-service app. So this is like your app store and you can install things uh, that teachers ask you. Like you're gonna need Canvas, your student Canvas one you're gonna need. You'll probably need all the Google, um, like Google Docs. You'll need uh, Google Slides. I don't think teachers make you use Google Sheets, but, and maybe Google Drive. Um, those may be ones that you have to put on if you haven't yet. Um, but make sure that iReady is installed. So this is all in alphabetical order. So if I go to iReady, if it says reinstall, you're good to go. It's already on your iPad. If it says install, like I don't have iMovie on my iPad because I don't need it for anything. So I don't have it. But if so, if it says install, then you need to click on it and you need to install. Okay, so that's the first thing you need to do. Install iReady onto your iPad. Here's the thing. Once the app is installed, you do not, do not um, use it to log in. To log into your iReady account, you need to do something else. That's why I'm making the video. So once it's installed, now what you're going to do is go to the student portal, which is how you log into almost everything because it'll automatically log you in with your student credentials. Okay, so this you're going to start by looking for the district um, the district seal right here. That's going to open up the portal in Safari for you automatically. If you can't find it, you can always do that little swipe down thing. You can look for DUSD portal. There it is. Click on that. See I'm open in Safari. And now my portal is my personal. This is Miss Perry's portal, but it's open. Um, I've only you these are the ones that I use all the time. So I kind of have them on a separate page. If you guys want me to show you how to do that, I will do that later. But what you're going to do is you're going to look for iReady. Yours will probably look a little bit more like this with more stuff on it. Um, so you just have may have to scroll up and down until you find iReady, which is right here. That is how you get to opening iReady. Your iReady account is going to be through the portal, which means you got to go through Safari and the district portal. Then you will be automatically logged in with your student account. You're going to see on mine, it's going to be the teacher account because it's my account information and I'm not a student, so it'll be the teacher account. Right, you guys, it'll ask you, do you want to open the app? And now you can say, yes, I can. I want to use the app, but do not go straight to the app. All right, open iReady through the portal. Open it through the portal like that. All right, hope this helps. Have a good day.